Thank you so much to everyone for being here today with us. We are super excited that you're here and we're excited to be here with you. Today, we are going to share with you how to manage your photos and documents better using the Job Nimbus mobile app. I'm Dan. And I'm Tyler. Like what Dan was talking about earlier, we're gonna show you just some quick tips on how to better use the new photo and documents feature on the mobile app. Some quick benefits that you're gonna see from with those updates is on the document side, now you can upload documents that you have saved on your mobile device and automatically upload those into the mobile app. And with the photos, instead of going out to the job site like before, taking a bunch of photos, and then texting or emailing those in, or maybe you just had to go all the way back to the office and upload those onto the computer and then put them on Job Nimbus. Now you can do all of that directly inside the mobile app. And you can also do that by instantly having those saved and uploaded so that everyone back at the office knows exactly what pictures you have taken so that they can do their job a lot easier and quicker. Yeah, so we have a couple of scenarios I need to run through first. And we're going to and we're going to kind of play this like a story here. So I just barely got to the job site and open up my a mobile app. I've already taken photos of the house, of all the damage, and now I need to get these photos uploaded to our contact. So here I am on the home screen. It's a beautiful home screen. I actually really love the home screen on this mobile app. Um, I don't know if any of you have were here for the previous mobile app. I don't wanna talk about that mobile app. I want to talk about this one. It's I have a bad memory. memory. <laughs> <laughs> I've been at Job Nimbus for a while, so I've gone through all the aches and pains, and probably some of you have as well. So here we are on our home screen. We've tried to make it as easy as possible for you to do your job. So we have our section of my leads down here. We're actually looking at Phil Jackson's house today. So we go ahead and click on Phil Jackson roof and takes us right into the contact. Now I need to upload those photos I've already taken. To do that, I can just go in and click on photos and see that plus button up there at the top? That is the select button. We can go ahead and click the plus button and it takes us right to our camera reel where we see all of the photos we have already taken. Now, I probably on the job took some selfies. My team members don't need to see those. So I need to select the other photos which are right here, just click on them. If I wanna select more than one, I can just drag my finger across and then I can click add and see all those upload. It's really fast upload time. But this isn't gonna be something that you do a lot of taking photos beforehand. So let's talk about the more likely scenario. Yeah, like what Dan was saying, the more, the better scenario that we think is gonna work best for everyone using the mobile app out in the field is going to, buy, going to be going into the job, going into the photos. And from there, instead of uploading pictures from your camera reel, you will just simply click on the camera icon. And from here, this is where you will be able to take some pictures. So we're gonna take some pictures of this very expensive house. <laughs> it's a very lovely house, man, we I'd can, there. <laughs> we can take multiple pictures and we're just going to take three so you can see what this will look like. I've taken my three pictures. Now we see that those three pictures are automatically saved on the job. But from there, we can do additional editing by just simply clicking into the picture. From here, we can choose the attachment type. This one, we're going to keep it as photo. But we can also add a description. That way, when these are sent back over to the office, there's no questions that need to be asked. They know exactly what's going on. On this one, I'm just gonna do something simple and I will just say, this is in the expensive house. Oh, not hairs, <laughs> can't spell today. Too excited, that's Friday. We will save that and to edit and mark up these pictures, we just simply click on the pen. And from here, this is where we can draw on the picture, add additional items. And I'm gonna show you a few of those things that we can do. So we can draw on the different items. Maybe we wanna put an arrow to point to specific areas. The other items that we can do is we can click on the plus sign. This is going to give us additional options that we can do. 
We can add a magnifier. This will allow us to zoom in on specific areas. So maybe we want the office to see that, you know, there's a broken window and there's a tree sticking out of the roof. On top of that, we can add additional text. If you're like me, if I'm going to draw on a pit, write something on a picture, it's probably going to be very poor penmanship. So instead, <laughs> let's just use the text and we can type it out to make it really simple and easy from there. Once we're done doing any of the edits to the picture, we click done and we will see that it updates. When we click done one more time, now we have the additional update on the picture. So everyone back to the office knows exactly what's going on. Yeah, but you're not going to be working with just primarily and just photos all the time. You're also going to be working with documents such as contracts, estimates, whatever documents that you have with your clients. And Job Nimbus wants to make it easy for you to be able to get those documents into your contact. So what we can do here is if we have those documents on our phone and we need to get them up there into our mobile app, I can search for files pull up the files app. And actually that's the document that I need to upload. So let's go ahead and click on it. I can review the document before uploading. And if you see that button down in the bottom left, I didn't know this at first and I'm kind of embarrassed to say, I did not realize that was a share button, but it is. So go ahead and click on that button. And I could go through and scroll through all my apps until I find Job Nimbus, but we wanna make this easy for you. So we added a save to Job Nimbus right there. Click on it. Now I'll take you to the share screen where I can choose a job or a contact that I want to relate it to. And since this is Phil Jackson's roof, I'm relating it to that. I can also choose the category because it's not just any document. I need to change the attachment type to estimate. Clicking upload will immediately upload that to our contacts file. So if when I go back to documents, we can see it's right there. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So we hope that using Job Nimbus and the Job Nimbus mobile app to manage both your photos and your documents will make it easy for you to be efficient and look professional. That'll do it for the webinar portion. We do want you to remember that this will be uploaded to YouTube. That way, if you have additional team members that were not able to join in on the webinar, they will be able to review that later on. A couple additional items is we want to make sure that you are also using the knowledge base tool that we have provided to you. You can access that by the website, but an additional way you can access that is by clicking on the blue question mark in the bottom left of your job notice account when you are logged in on the computer. And last but not least, please make sure that you reach out to our support team if you ever feel like you are running into roadblocks because the last thing we want is you to be left in the dark because our job is to make you the hero.